for joining. Uh, I'm Yulia from Product Group, and I'm leading uh, the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps portal convergence to Microsoft 365 Defender. We believe that Microsoft 365 Defender is the primary home for all security workloads. Today, I'll present the native integration of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps in Microsoft 365 Defender. This gives us a power to provide the best protection to you from threats aiming at your cloud applications. In modern organizations, uh, this is usually where the most valuable assets are stored. We announced a public preview in Ignite for this experience. The integration of Microsoft uh, Defender for Cloud Apps into Microsoft 365 Defender provide security teams a central experience for discovery, investigation, mitigation, and handling of incidents. Application data is now also correlated with insights from other workloads. This enables you a centralized XDR experience. Security admins can complete suite and workload-specific tasks in one single portal, and all triage and investigation information are accessible in one single Microsoft 365 Defender portal and allow investigation from a single pane of glass. So all capabilities of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps standalone portal are available in Microsoft 365 Defender. Important to mention that at this point, the same functionality coexists in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps portal. While you can still do the same work in both portals, we encourage you to start using the new experience. So now, let's see how it looks like. A Cloud Discovery Dashboard is the same as in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps Portal. All you see under the discovery in the standalone portal, you can find in tabs in Microsoft 365 Defender. You don't need to switch portals to sanction or unsanction apps or review the Cloud Apps catalog and activity log. The files page The files page is also here and you can review all data and create DLP policy directly from Microsoft 365 Defender. And the policies you can find here on the cloud app section and to define it in this portal, similar as you can do in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. You can see that most of the pages look the same. The important is where they live. Since all now live in one place, it's more that can you do. You can investigate the Cloud Apps alerts that are correlated here. You can investigate the alerts that are correlated with alerts from other workloads into the incident. SOC analysts can drill down deeper into incidents from Microsoft 365 Defender. It reduces the need to pivot between the portals when diving into the alerts. And the incident pages uh, includes the alert story and an additional workload information and uh, all related activities from an uh, activity log. Users and accounts information you can find in asset sections under identities. And an additional value for you is advanced hunting.
Uh, each row in Cloud Apps Events uh, table defines the event in Defender for Cloud Apps data. You can run your queries and create the detection rule based on this data. We improved the, applic uh, the application onboarding experience and you can find it now under settings. Cloud Apps. App connectors. As you can see, the experience is a new experience, but we all capabilities similar as it today. You can continue uh, defined and uh, review roles under Microsoft 365 Defender permissions uh, section under Cloud Apps, exactly as you did in Microsoft uh, Defender for Cloud Apps. Uh, I'll share our plan uh, to improve this experience in a minute. App Governance is an add-on feature for Defender for Cloud Apps that allows enhanced capabilities and control on auth applications that access critical information in Microsoft 365. All these experiences are now in public preview and you can start using it in your environment. You have a great reminder on Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps portal uh, that you can work on Microsoft 365 Defender. You can just press take me there and it will take you to Microsoft 365 Defender portal. You can have a short guided tour for all Cloud Apps experiences. You can learn more in uh, our documentation. Here you have a link for our documentation and start with a short tour by watching this video. You can have more value with this unified experience. We believe that new uh, experience in Microsoft 365 Defender XDR provides immense value along with improved protection so you can do more with less while providing the best in class 3 detection across security workloads. This gives you protection for users and up to up interactions, uh, enabling a holistic investigation experience. I would like to share uh, some major steps going forward. It will be gradual customer journey that will take time. All you are able to do in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, you now can do in Unified Portal. At certain point in time, when we will meet the criteria we will set, we will start forcing customers to move. We are targeting it to next calendar year. In the later point in time, we will terminate standalone portal. An additional major step that we will do, we will integrate the Defender for Cloud Apps RBAC into unified RBAC model. This is also targeted to the next year. By this integration, we will allow more granular RBAC capabilities. At this point, we support all roles as defined today in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. So the new uh, unified experience uh, in all your environments and uh, we'll be glad to if you share your feedback, you can share it directly to this mail. 
and and we will be glad to improve everything based on your feedback. So thank you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, Keith, Greg. There are any okay. questions that I may answer now? Keith, Yuval, Greg, Caroline, are there any questions in the Q&A that we want to bring up directly here? I think we already covered kind of the number one question, which was when we should expect the standalone portal deprecation. And Yulia, you mentioned it would be targeting next calendar year, right? Yes, correct. Okay, cool. Um, this is an interesting question. Uh, maybe Yulia or Keith um, or folks on the line may have some insight here. Um, it, it looks like some customers are experiencing some delays when it comes to the alerts that they see in Defender for Cloud Apps, the standalone portal, to the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. Um, are there any tips or... or um, you know, investments that we're making there to reduce the delays and improve the performance? Or have we seen this scenario with other customers that we can share? Uh, sure, thank you. It's a great question and we invest a lot now uh, to improve this uh, latency. So I expect that uh, very soon, um, well, most of the customers won't experience this latency in the alerts. Great. I think that was the the bulk of the questions. Um, does anyone else have any questions for Yulia and team? Looks like not. So then, uh, if you push one slide forward, Yulia, please. Yes. Then there's me again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yulia. Uh, some reminder before we are ending the call. Recordings and slides will be made available at aka.ms slash security webinars. If we miss to answer your question, which doesn't look like, and you or you have additional questions, you can visit Microsoft 365 Defender Forum at aka.ms slash m365dtc. Again, thank you, Julia, for today's webinar. Thank you to the rest of the team who helped answering questions. And most of all, thank you all uh, for being part of our community and for joining us on these webinars. We hope to see you next time. Goodbye.